Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel, Skyrim, and the main quest line. So, we've been up to see old Parthnex uh, on the throat of the world, and he's asked us to go and speak to either Esbern or Angier. Um, I don't particularly like the blades, so I'm going to have a quick chat, chat with Angier at High Hrothgar and to see exactly how we get our grubby little mitts on an Elder Scroll. So, let's uh, pop in and have a chat. I don't think he likes us very much at the moment, uh, but because we're knocking around with the blades. Here's the old boy. So, you spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? No, but he told me how to find out. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. I need the Elder Scroll, the Ancient Shoes. Do you know where to find it? The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you see. Okay, so what he's doing is tell us go to the College of Winterhold, um, to speak to the mages there, and someone could potentially uh, know where that is. So, off we go. I did actually try using the Clear Skies shout when I was out here, and it didn't work. Um, but uh, it is a necessary thing for later on in the quest, as you'll probably see. Anyway, fast travel over to the College of Winterhold. And we're going to have to go down to the Arcanium to speak to Ureg Gro Shub. Well, at least I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Haven't got a clue. But anyway, we've got to go and see the York fella. It reminds me of my old man, cantankerous old git. Anyway, there's the fella. Go and have a bit of a chat with him. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. <laughs> now, do you require assistance? I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? Of course I do. Do you have one here? Even if I did have one here, I would let you... You can use either one of those. The, out the outcome's still the, the same. Security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about the Dragonborn? What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them. But it's I love why well, everybody believes it when I sound the Dragonborn. Himself. They don't ask for any proof. Leavened with rumor and conjecture. Okay, he will go off and get a couple of books. Um, I'm not going to show you... Try not to spill uh, well, actually, you will read the books in front of you, but I really do strongly suggest you read them. They're really interesting about the effects on... Uh, the Elder Scrolls, etc., etc. So, quickly read them. As always, the Nords don't ever stop wanting. And this one, and that started discerning the Transmudane, whatever the hell that means. So now we've got to ask Urag about the uh, the insane book. At least it's more money for. Hello, friends. And this rumination book is incomprehensible. Ah, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Where did he go? Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but, well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. Okie dokie, now we've got to go and find uh, Septimus Cygnus. Now, the quickest way to do this, if you've uh, 
obviously been following my walkthroughs and you've got the ethereal shout is go out here shout and jump over the edge okay find septum cygnus it's all logged in now he's up in the ice flows up here now you can jump from the other side of the uh uh, the college but for some reason uh, for me it's glitching out so I had to jump from this side now if you don't I'm have the ethereal shout you can go all the way down uh, to the village and go that way this saves a bit of time and it's a lot more fun so we go swimming in freezing waters full of ice with not a bother The most dangerous thing you're going to meet along the way is um, hawkers. Unless you're doing this in survival mode, then it could be a bit tricky. I probably will do survival mode at uh, some stage. But I've got so many other uh, videos to do in just uh, a normal way. And for the purpose of these videos, it's not going to make it any better anyway. So, anyway, swim all the way along here. Just run past the walkers. They're slow. They'll never catch you. I've got a necklace that actually allows me to breathe underwater. I'm sure there's a load of hidden chests around here as well. So, one day I'll come down and paddle around, see if I can find them. And the necklace is um, very imaginatively called the Breathe Underwater Necklace. Dead handy to have though. Anyway, when you see that boat there, to, you, to, you're getting fairly close to the, the spot. And go straight in. A lot of this main quest line has been uh, dialogue driven. I think this is pretty much the last of it and we'll be getting into the nuts and bolts and uh, death and mayhem that we all love so much uh, in the uh, upcoming videos, which is great. But anyway, let's have a chat with the old Septimus here. I heard you know about the Elder Scrolls. He does sound very much like the seer of the Dark Brotherhood. I know of one forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go Both bonkers. To it, not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. So where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas. So if you did read the books, you can uh, see that by reading a sc uh, scroll, you can uh, go slightly on the insane. Logical scale. Well, it's all nearby. Or blind. Can One you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep. Tower Mzark. Oftan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get Two in? things I have for you. Two shapes, one edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. 
the edged lexicon for inscribing to us a hunk of metal, to the Dwemer a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. So we've learned the location of the Elder Scroll and we're going to be heading off into Black Reach, which is an epic Dwemer ruin. Um, really excellent, full of um, Falmer and all sorts of uh, goodies. Uh, go light because there's loads of stuff to pick up. Okay, let's go back out to Skyrim. And that's job done. So all we've got to do now is go to Black Reach, fight through an army of Dwarven Centurions and uh, Falmer, and pick up a scroll that can make us either mad or blind. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.